Claire Spork and I'm a food photographer and stylist. I'm here with The Desire Company and I'm going to show you how to make a green smoothie bowl today. Alright, so first we're going to start with the frozen ingredients. Um, so I like to do those first and put them closest to the blade so they're easier to blend. Uh, we're going to do bananas, cauliflower rice, and ice. Alright, so I normally do about one, one banana and I make sure to freeze them um, when they're really ripe so they add more natural sweetness to the smoothie. So I'll do about one banana. So next I'm going to put in cauliflower rice and it sounds kind of like a weird ingredient to add to a smoothie. but. It helps add that extra vegetable and it's pretty flavorless too and it makes the smoothie kind of fluffy. Um, so I'm going to do about one cup of cauliflower rice. Okay. So I normally don't measure a lot of things for my smoothies. Um, you can do one cup but it doesn't matter if it's a little less or a little more. It's better if it's more actually, so it's a thicker smoothie. Then I'm gonna just add in a handful of ice, which it's about a cup. All right, so now for the superfood supplements that I add to my smoothie. And this is a lot, you can switch these up, you can take out some of them, um, but these are my favorites and I kind of go a little crazy with it. But one of my favorite things to add is spirulina powder, and this one is the blue-green spirulina. You can also just get blue spirulina, and it adds a really vibrant color to your smoothie. So I do about a tablespoon of this. The flavor of spirulina powder, it does have that kind of oceany taste to it. So it's it's definitely not something you want like a really strong flavor in your smoothie, so that's why I keep it at a tablespoon. Um, but you can even do less than that if you like. So next, I'm gonna add in my mushroom powder, which is by Mudwater, and it has three different types of mushrooms in it. It also has a little bit of chai and then some spices like cinnamon and turmeric. So with mushrooms, they help, especially like lion's mane, they give you that natural energy, um, unlike caffeine where you kind of get jittery and it's a little too much, it makes you anxious. Um, so this is, it kind of just is a little bit of a natural, more natural replacement. Um, also the cinnamon and turmeric, they're really great for anti-inflammatory agents and so it's a nice blend of ingredients. Then I add in my favorite collagen by Vital Proteins, which is a marine collagen. So it's actually made out of fish bones. Um, there's also vegan collagens you can use or you can just use a protein powder of your choice. So I do about two scoops of this. And this really doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste fishy at all. Um, the more popular collagens are um, like turkey collagen, chicken collagen, or um, beef. So now we're going to add in some coconut yogurt. And this makes the smoothie extra creamy and delicious. So I do about half a cup of this. So this brand, Koyo, they um, make all of their things with just purely coconut and then the probiotics. So I'm gonna do just like a big scoop. I usually do about like half a cup of this. All right, and then my favorite thing to add to my smoothies, peanut butter. Um, this one's really simple, just roasted peanuts and sea salt. And I'm gonna do two really big spoonfuls, or tablespoons of this. 
Um, this adds just like a nutty creaminess to the smoothie. And also, I love adding nut butters or healthy fats to my smoothies um, because they help leave you full for the rest of the day. Because I usually use my smoothies as a meal replacement. So I have to make sure that I have all of the essential uh, proteins, fats, and fiber. Then I do just a pinch of Malden sea salt. And I love adding sea salt to my smoothies because it brings out all the flavors of the smoothie, especially when there's peanut butter in it, because who doesn't like salty peanut butter? So I love using uh, Malden sea salt or just like Himalayan sea salt because it's more natural. And I also love the bigger flakes of this one and I'll use it to style my food as well, um, just so the sea salt flakes will show up in photos. Then we're gonna add in my favorite monk fruit sweetener. And this one tastes exactly like regular sugar. It's really delicious, and I just like my smoothies to be a little extra sweet. So I usually do about two tablespoons of this, so like a heaping spoonful. And then we have the almond milk. So you can do whatever non-dairy milk you'd like, or you can do regular milk. Um, and I try to just add half a cup first before I blend because I want to make sure that the smoothie isn't too thin because we're going to be putting the toppings on it. So we're going to do half a cup. All right, so now we're going to blend up the smoothie. Because it's so thick and there's a lot of ice and cauliflower rice and frozen bananas in there, um, I have to make sure to pack down the ingredients so they get closer to the blade and it just all combines really well and there's no more chunks. All right, so we've got our smoothie blended. Um, before I start styling my smoothie bowl, I like to just clear off my space and make sure I can zone in on styling. So we have our pretty thick smoothie going on here and I have all the toppings out. We've got granola, we've got some blueberries, we've got bee pollen, um, we've got a little bit of Malden sea salt and then we have coconut and cocoa nibs. So because this is extra thick you're going to just need a spatula or a spoon to get it out. So I usually always start with granola. I love to add the extra crunch on my smoothie bowl and granola is an essential part of that. Then I like to add just a little bit of cocoa nibs for that extra crunch and I just love the rich flavor of them. I'm going to show you guys how I cut my banana and the little cutout I use to add a little fun element to my smoothie. So I usually just cut the banana into the usual regular slices like so. And we'll do about maybe three or four of them. So this is my little star cutout. It's just a cookie cutout that I got on Amazon. And so what you do is you just press it onto the circular banana and then peel off this part and then just pop it out with your finger. And there you go, you got a star banana. So I just like to add, maybe I'll do three of these. You can always add more um, if you really love the banana chunks. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some blueberries. 
And I usually like to freeze my blueberries before. I'll buy them fresh and then I'll freeze them because when you take them out of the freezer, they have this frosted look on them when they start to defrost. And it looks really cool in photos. So I'm just gonna place a few. All right, and then next, I'm gonna do a little bit of coconut shreds. And if you'd like, you can toast this before, so it has that extra nutty flavor, but I'm just doing raw coconut. My favorite thing to add to my smoothie bowls is bee pollen, and it's just a really great superfood, um, and it helps actually with a lot of people that have allergies. So I usually do a little bit of that, and it adds a really great color to the smoothie as well. And then I have my edible flowers. So these come in all different colors. There's a bunch of different edible flowers you can get. You can get them at Whole Foods, grocery stores, or farmer's markets. So I'm gonna take off this stem and just place them around. And I'm gonna do the different colors. This one comes with like orange and white and these little purple ones. And again, I'm coming at this from a food photographer standpoint. You can obviously make your own substitutions here, um, but I just like to get really creative and artsy with it. So we've got the flowers on there. And then the last thing is I just add a little pinch of sea salt. All right, so now that we have our beautifully styled smoothie bowl, I usually will just take it over very gently, but we have to do it quick before it melts. And I'll take it over to a window with natural light. And then I like to put ingredients that are blended in the smoothie um, as styling elements in the photo. And I put them around the smoothie like so. And there we go. All right, so now we're gonna taste it, my favorite part. It's so good and really creamy. You can't taste the cauliflower. You can't taste the veggies in there. It's the perfect combination of sweet and salty and crunchy. So I hope you guys learned a lot um, and have fun with your smoothie creations and add in whatever you want. Um, and then when it comes to styling, you can get creative, you can do the edible flowers, you can do banana stars, you can do whatever your heart desires. It's always fun and it's super easy.